Hi everyone, welcome back. Now, if you know Korean food, it is not complete without banchan or side dishes. It can be as simple as one or two or as elaborate as a dozen. But today, I'm going to show you five simple banchan or side dishes that you can make in a matter of minutes to round out your meal. Let me show you what they are real quick. This is spinach and bean sprouts, braised tofu, little egg roll, it has scallions in it, and then a simple cucumber salad that has a little bit of the tang and spice. It's delicious and it will round out our meal. If you're ready, let's get started. The first thing we're going to make are the bean sprouts. We're going to blanch it in boiling water for about three to four minutes. And then we're going to strain them as much as you can and then rinse it under cold water to stop the cooking process and squeeze out as much water as you can. And then we're ready to season with a little bit of salt, some sesame oil, black pepper. We add some green onions to this and some minced garlic. And then we're going to mix it thoroughly until it is well incorporated. The next are the spinach, and it's the same process. We're going to blanch it in boiling water, this time for about two seconds. Strain it, and then rinse it under cold water, squeeze out the excess water, and then we're going to season. We're going to do some garlic, some scallions, salt, sesame seeds, black pepper, and sesame oil. And again, mix it thoroughly until it is well incorporated. You can adjust the seasoning as you see fit. For the pickle salad, we're going to be using Persian pickles because they are very crunchy. We're going to slice them really thinly. And to this, we're going to add scallions, garlic, red pepper flakes, sugar, white vinegar, and soy sauce, and we're going to mix well and set aside. For the braised tofu, we're going to start with a braising liquid. To soy sauce, we add sesame oil, scallions, garlic, uh, some sesame seeds. We also add some hochugaru or the red pepper flakes and just mix it. Mix it really well and set aside for when we're ready to put it in the pan. For the tofu, we've squeezed out the excess water, sliced it in half, and now we're gonna cut them into squares. After we've done the slicing, we're going to season both sides with a little bit of salt before we start pan frying them. And we are going to pan fry in a, with a little bit of oil until it's golden brown on both sides. It depends on your flame how hot it is to see how long it takes to cook. To this, we're going to add the braising liquid and spread out the sauce evenly on all of the top portions of the tofu. We're gonna then put a lid on it and brace for no more than three to four minutes and it's done. Last is the kyoramari or the egg rolls. We're going to beat some eggs in a bowl and then season it with a little bit of salt. To this, we're gonna add sliced scallions, mix it well, and then we're going to um, cook on a low heat in a good size frying pan. And as you can see, as we start cooking it, we're going to start rolling it. Um, it can get a little tricky, as you can see from my attempt here. My poor spatula, I think it's time to get some new ones. As it cooks slowly, we're going to continue to roll into a log. And um, once we've gotten it fully folded over, we're going to just let cook on low until it's cooked thoroughly, just like that. And then once it's been cooled, we're gonna slice it into thin slices, about half inch or so, and that's it. Okay, everyone, it's done. So this is what a typical Korean meal looks like. We've got some rice, some noodles. Protein today is kalbi, which I have the recipe for if you wanna 
check that out. And then our assortment of panchan that we made. It looks really good and actually I haven't had breakfast yet so I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna give it a try. All right, I think because our main um, video today was about panchan, I'm gonna try the panchan first. So some bean sprouts. I love the crunch of the vegetables. Some spinach. It's so delicious, guys. Oh my gosh, okay. Some tofu, I'm gonna cut this. I think I'll use my chopsticks to cut it into little pieces. It's a little um, spicy, a little um, sweet. It's a perfect accompaniment to rice. You can even just have the tofu and the rice by itself. And the egg, of course, it's one of our favorites. And our cucumber salad. So good. Now, as you notice, I don't have kimchi in my meal today, but this is my substitute. So if you don't like kimchi or you just don't have it in your fridge or you didn't have time to make it, you can make a simple cucumber salad like this and it'll go perfectly. It's delicious. The panchan is very easy to make. I hope you give this a try. I'm gonna say goodbye so that I can go have my lunch. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with others. Um, and also, don't forget to subscribe. Did I say that already? You did. <laughs> don't forget to press that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. I'm going to go eat now.